Well, good morning, Real Life Church, and welcome to Friday uh, of Boost, and we're reading in Acts chapter 15 today. While Paul and Barnabas were at Antioch of Syria, some men from Judea arrived and began to teach the believers. Unless you are circumcised, as required by the law of Moses, you cannot be saved. Paul and Barnabas disagreed with them, arguing vehemently. Finally, the church decided to send Paul and Barnabas to Jerusalem, accompanied by some local believers, to talk to the apostles and elders about this question. The church sent the delegates to Jerusalem, and they stopped along the way in Phoenicia and Samaria to visit the believers. They told them, much to everyone's joy, that the Gentiles too were being converted. When they arrived in Jerusalem, Barnabas and Paul were welcomed by the whole church, including the apostles and elders. They reported everything God had done through them, but then some of the believers who belonged to the sect of the Pharisees stood up and insisted, the Gentile converts must be circumcised and required to follow the law of Moses. So the apostles and elders met together to resolve this issue. At the meeting, after a long discussion, Peter stood and addressed them as follows. Brothers, you all know that God chose me from among you some time ago to preach to the Gentiles so that they could hear the good news and believe. God knows people's hearts and he confirmed that he accepts Gentiles by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did to us. He made no distinction between us and them for he cleansed their hearts through faith. So why are you now challenging God by burdening the Gentile believers with the yoke that neither we nor our ancestors were able to bear. We believe that we are all saved the same way by the undeserved grace of the Lord Jesus. Everyone listened quietly as Barnabas and Saul told about the miraculous signs and wonders God had done through them among the Gentiles. When they had finished, James stood and said, Brothers, listen to me. Peter has told you about the time God first visited the Gentiles to take from them a people for himself. And this conversion of Gentiles is exactly what the prophets predicted, as it is written. Afterward, I will return and restore the fallen house of David. I will re rebuild its ruins and restore it, so that the rest of humanity might seek the Lord, including the Gentiles, all those I have called to be mine. The Lord has spoken, he who made these things known so long ago. And so my judgment is that we should not make it difficult for the Gentiles who are turning to God. Instead, we should write and tell them to abstain from eating food offered to idols, from sexual immorality, from eating the meat of strangled animals and from consuming blood. For these laws of Moses have been preached in Jewish synagogues in every city on every Sabbath for many generations. You know, I've talked about this so many times as we've looked at the book of Acts and this whole idea of people being looked at uh, and, and kind of judged. So the Gentiles have to be treated differently uh, than the Jews. And the, the, this contention keeps arising in all sorts of different scenarios throughout the book of Acts. And yet we come back to the same message that Jesus says, everybody's welcome. Everybody's invited, everybody is qualified to come, and it's all through my grace, through my mercy, through my kindness, that all of you, no matter what your culture, no matter what country you're born in, you all come on an equal playing field and you all qualify to have me as your personal saviour, to forgive sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Isn't that fantastic? And so I leave you with that thought today. It's, it's a magnificent way to start this Friday. And so have a wonderful day. I'm going to pray for you just before I go. Father, I just pray that every person that's listened in today would walk in the freedom that you died to give us. That it doesn't matter what our background, what our past, what our culture, but you say come and um, that everybody is welcome. And so I just pray today that there would just be such a lightness in people's spirits as they go about their day knowing that you die to set every single person on the planet free. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a sensational Friday and we'll talk again soon. You are champions and winners. Mwah.